Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be part two of my tutorial series on how to use Maze Plus. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to part two of my series on how to use Maze Plus. Today we're going to cover Crop Destruction 2.0 and we're also going to cover green mowing. So if that's what you're looking for, this is the video for you. So first off, to kick off Crop Destruction 2.0, um, in order for Crop Destruction to work, you obviously have to go into the menu here and you have to have Crop Destruction turned to on. And this is just some, a way to make things a little bit more realistic for you. Um, crop Destruction will work the same as it does in base game, but as far as I can tell, these are the two kind of features I'm going to show you that are added on. So first off, if I turn this harvester on this field here and I start working on it here and actually I want uh, straw swath to be off nope about that there we go should be off now so I keep going there we go no straw swath coming out let me just get a little bit down here and I'll show you and now let me actually go into the menu and I'll turn crop destruction off and we'll go forward for a bit and then I'll show you what we're talking about here as far as crop destruction 2.0 goes so okay this guy's out of the way here. Let's go take a look. So crop destruction was on here. As you can see that left tracks in. So it's actually destroying some of the, the stubble as well as you go through just to kind of add a little bit more realism to you. And then obviously when I turned it off, it stopped destroying the rubble. So it's very cool. Um, it adds a little bit of an extra feature there. Now, if we go over here, um, the other thing that adds on to it, normally if you drive on grass, right now, you know, as we know, we have crop destruction off. So grass is fine, right? Everything looks good here. We go into the menu actually. And we put grass to on. And we go growth states. You see this whole thing here is ready to harvest. Now, if I go over to the menu and I turn crop destruction to on, and then I start driving around, well, you can kind of see already, you see where it's killing off some of the grass, but not all of it. Like it's not destroying it like truly, but it's lowering it down. Now, if we look in the menu, it's lowering it to the previous growth state. Now, it's not something that you can double up on. So now that I'm back and back over, it shouldn't destroy another layer of it. It should just destroy it down to that growth state as you can see there so uh, there you go yeah so very cool it, it, it's just something new something that adds a little bit to it so it does damage the grass um, if you drive on it which is something a little bit different so you can still mow it and everything and harvest it but uh, there you go so yeah that's kind of just something I wanted to mention on crop destruction 2.0 those are a couple things if I miss something uh, definitely let me know but yeah that's what I had for you guys so we'll go ahead and talk about green mowing next all right before we continue on to green mowing a couple things I forgot to mention about um, crop destruction 2.0 that I wanted to mention so I have a wheat field here. It is in its third growth state. So if I drive over right now, crop destruction is on. You can see it did do a little bit of damage to it. Now it didn't kill it off. It just lowered it down a growth state there. Now, if I put it into stage four and I drive over it, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to lower it down a growth state there or, or set it back. Excuse me, to, I think it's growth state two is what it sets it back to. Now, if I go to harvest, and I drive over it, it's just destroying it like normal. It's not there anymore. So uh, just something to note with that. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to mention that about uh, crop destruction there. Now, if we talk about green mowing, what is green mowing? We can actually turn off crop destruction for us here. Um, let's go ahead and turn that off and reset the field. So green mowing is the ability for you to take certain crops and using a mower like this or any other mower to cut them either while they're ready to harvest or before they're ready to harvest in order to get a different fill type. Um, so you're gonna get crop swath essentially from this by doing this. So um, right here, as you know, we have it in the third growth state. If I turn the mower on, it's down on the ground and I go over it, nothing's happening. It's not doing anything. But if I bump it up to the fourth growth state, which is right before it's ready to harvest, and I drive over it, it is leaving behind a swath there. That is what is called crop windrow there, or crop swath. Um, now, if I actually put it up to be ready to harvest, um, and I drive over it, it's doing the same thing. It's leaving the same fill type down below, crop swath there. Now, this doesn't work for every crop. So, for example, if I put, uh, what's one that doesn't, canola here. If I put canola out, um, and I drive over canola. As you can see here, it's not working for canola. If I put canola into the fourth growth state there, it's not working. It's not mowing anything. So the crops that this is going to work on that you can do this on is going to be barley, rye, wheat, triticle, millet, spelt, and oats. So oats and um, all those other crop types there. Those are the ones you can actually uh, green mow using. So those are the ones that are available. The rest of the crop types, you can't do it. Obviously, you can mow grass. I'm not talking about grass. We're talking about other crops that you wouldn't normally mow. Uh, but it, what it does, what's the purpose of it? So the purpose of it is for you to actually be able to uh, take. So if we actually go here and uh, we'll reset this to one that we can. Grab, we'll do wheat, that'll be fine. Stage four, I'm actually gonna turn it off for a second here. It's mowing her out there. 
Now, if I go across here, turn the mower on and I mow down here and get a swath in. So again, it's crop swath. If we hop out, we can pick it up or we can bale it and wrap it. Uh, so as you can see down there at the bottom, you can see in the bottom right hand corner what this fill type is. If I turn on my loading wagon um, and drive over, I'll be able to pick it up. So there you go, crop windrow right down there at the bottom. So if we go on the menu, what, are, what can you do with the crop windrow? So uh, one option right here is you can sell it off right here. So these are this is one option here, you can sell it. There's a few sell points on this one. This map has a ton of sell points on it. Uh, so there's a few here that will take it. Um, or you can actually ferment it. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a bunker silo and I'll bring you guys back. And it's just like silage making silage. So you're just gonna put it in the bunker silo and then we will go ahead and see what we get from there. All right, so we're over here at our bunker cell. I've already compacted it, but if we go up here, we have WC, WCS Fresh, which is whole crop silage fresh. So we're gonna get whole crop silage out of this. Now, if I go ahead and I come up here, I can hit R to blanket the silo. Now it's gonna ferment slowly over time. Let me go ahead and speed up time for us. So it'll go ahead and go a little bit faster for us. So as you can see, we're slowly working our way through it. It should be fermented hopefully pretty quick here and then we'll go ahead and see what we're going to have essentially is going to be whole crop silage out of this so um again the way the series is going to work we're just going to cover little bits and pieces every episode or every part of it um so if you need to refer back to it you don't have to go through a four hour video to try to find what you're looking for it's pretty easy for you to get where you need to go so as you can see it is done now i'm going to go ahead and slow time back down but since we can't see anything let's go ahead and just uh bump it up to daytime here for us now if i are to open the silo up what do we have here well we have WCS fermented. We have whole crop silage. That's what we have here. So if we take our loading wagon, this isn't necessarily the recommended way to get stuff out of a silo, but it does work. So we'll go ahead and drive over with the loading wagon so we can take a look at what we got. There we go, WCS fermented. So what can you do with that? Well, you can be used in animal feed, which we're gonna talk about later on, or if we actually find it in here, WCS fermented. Where are we at? Right here, WCS Fermented. That's kind of your silage substitute, so you can sell it at all these various places here. Um, so there you go. That is what you can do with whole crop silage if you wanted the uh, green mow. That kind of gives you a quick overview of what to do with green mowing and all of that good stuff. So there you go. That is going to be the end of this part of this tutorial series. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If I missed something, please let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to go over it again and to cover it in future videos. And I want to make sure that I learned something too as well. So um, again, make sure you leave a comment down below if there's something I missed or if you're enjoying this series. Drop a like down below if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the uh, screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future gameplay tutorials or other videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.